Hey folks, this is Sam Heber from SamuelHeber.net, Samuel Heber on YouTube, Samuel Heber on Facebook, Heber Family Adventures here on Instagram. I'm coming to you live on Instagram and also recording a video for Adulting Wow on the Spectrum. I'm, if, if you guys have been following me for a little bit, you hear me mention something called a sensory bag, but I never really got into exactly what is a sensory bag, because it's uh, not exactly a coin fr phrase or something I kind of came up as a general term, but today I'm going to go a little more specific to what was in my sensory bag and what it is. So a sensory bag is anything that helps someone on the spectrum get through their day and helps them self-regulate um, throughout the day, especially when they're on the verge of sensory overload or emotional overload or need help uh, regulating. So let's get started. What is a sensory bag? Well, it's, you can't, it's not one in a store. Or just any bag can, can be a computer. Today it's a computer bag. Um, and it's any bag in your house that you can, or any, your purse, uh, your backpack, whatever you use to carry throughout your day. And it's things that really just help you feel strong, things to help you feel like yourself, things to help you stim when it's appropriate. So things that go into my sensory bag often relate to me feeling grounded into my root chakra, which is the first chakra. For those of you who don't know what chakras are, there are seven of them. And throughout my videos in the coming weeks, I'll be going over them. But right now I'm gonna focus on root chakra. Anyway, what goes into my sensory bag? One of the first huge things that goes into my sensory bag these days is um, rashish uh, mushroom tea. Uh, this, this is a very powerful um, me medical tea you can get in any any supermarket and it helps me get heart centered it helps me get in touch with my root chakra which allows me to um speak from a heart centered place rather than some, somewhere up here my crown chakra it allows me to think clearly basically that's the bottom line it helps me think clearly and then when i need to stim i i bring pens like this that have a nice click sound and i when I'm trying to make a hard decision, I'll click it 20 times. This, I'm going to click it 20, but you get the idea. And this helps create a pattern. Because as a musician, I usually have to create repetitive patterns to help me uh, regulate. Another thing that goes into my bag that you've probably heard me mention many times are uh, essential oils. I'm not an expert on essential oils, but later this week, I will have an expert on essential oils on my one of my YouTube shows, so I'll go into more of that with her when I get her on my channel. Anyway, the two ones that go into my bag a lot lately are lavender, which helps me calm down. Uh, it's very lavender is very relaxing, also helps me sleep at night when I'm feeling anxious. And the other huge one is peppermint. Peppermint um, is a great great for me because I get a lot of migraine headaches, and peppermint's a great natural. Uh, way to bring down your headaches and it really just helps calm you. And also, it's, just, it's also very refreshing a hot day like this. Put it on your forehead, boom, ah, you all relax. Um, the, but the, I would say the biggest one is something so simple as my, my headphones. Uh, music is oxygen to me. It, just when the world feels so tight and squeezed and my anxiety is at its worst, music is always what calms me. So if I can take five minutes to listen to a song or on the whole way home, listen to music or on the way to work, it really helps set the day or helps reset the day. Uh, it's a very powerful tool. I never leave home without it. And I always have a spare one also in my um, sensory bag. Another one, of course, these big days is your mask. Don't forget your mask, people. Uh, corona is still happening. Um, another huge one for me is my sunglasses. Sunglasses are really huge for me because I have a lot of light sensitivity. Even on a cloudy day, that can be very painful to me. Or if I walk into a building that has uh, fluorescent lights that aren't covered in any way, um, it makes me feel like a bit like a rock star walking in, especially with these aviators in. Um, another huge thing that helps me feel grounded is from Honey Rose Botanicals, who I'll be interviewing tomorrow, 
uh, is a mushroom tincture. Check out her website. This has been very helpful for me to um, feel very grounded and helps my brain make better connections. Um, go, refer to Andrea if you want to learn more about her tinctures and other uh, plants. They're, they're really helpful. Anywho, you, what you want to do is put all these items into the bag, in the tea. Okay. Oh, another huge thing for me is a notebook. Um, as a writer, I always come up with ideas and it also helps me uh, regulate my emotions because it allows me to write it out and see what I'm thinking. Those are huge things. Um, and that's really a, a, all it is to it, folks. Just items that help self-soothe, self-regulate you. Um, if you're want, you have more questions about oils, um, teas and stuff, I'm going to be bringing on guests in, in the near future to help better explain than I can how they help people like us regulate or anyone regulate. Um, so that's what this a sensory bag is really. Um, just things that help you. Like in school, if you're someone on the spectrum, you ha especially these days, you have a sensory toy or something to help or a chewy or something to help you get through the day. Um, this is how, how you do it. Do it as an adult. You pack it yourself. If you, you're afraid of getting packed it the night before. Um, that's all I have to say today, folks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have more questions, post them below. If you're on Instagram, please follow me. If you're on, on YouTube, please subscribe. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. All right, bye.